I wanted to have a look today at uh, link authentication because I think some aspects of it are forgotten in terms of user management. So you can end up with a situation, for example, when you uh, disable a user account in Active Directory, a user can still log into the link client. So uh, I want to show you why that is, and we can have a look at how to stop it working. So we have a this is our link 2013 server, um, and what I have is a test user on here. We'll find him called Andy Pandy. There we go. Now he's currently enabled. There you go. Uh, he's currently set up for Link and his email address is there, which is andypandy at contoso.com. So what we'll do is we'll jump across to a, a Windows client and we'll log on as that user. So here we go. This is a Windows 8 machine. So I'm going to pop into Link, which is there. And I'm going to sign in as Andy Pandy. Okay, so it's asking for the password. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask to save the password for this client. Okay, so if I click sign in, it's going to confirm that we want to save it. So we'll say yes. And in we go. We're now logged into my demo system. I can log out, log in, pretty straightforward, and it just works. Now, here's the oddity. So let's jump, up, jump back to our server. Okay, and what I'm going to do is find my account again there we go and I'm going to disable the account okay so that user can now longer no longer log into Active Directory now let's have a look and see what effect that has on um, our actual link usage so we're back on the Windows 8 machine and this is our our link user now if I sign out there we go sign back in you'll see that I'm still straight back into Link and there's no issue with it. And to, just to show you the effect, what I'll do is I'll exit the Link client entirely, fire up Link 2013, and again, we're straight back in there. Okay, just ignore the activation for now. So it seems that it would ignore um, the sign-in information or the authority for the Active Directory user's account. That's not really true. It's basically down to the way that um, authentication is carried out when you do uh, when you save your login credentials. Essentially, what happens is a client certificate is generated, an X509 certificate, I think it is, um, actually on the link server itself. It's saved away in the uh, link database, and a client certificate is pushed out to the client. Okay, so we can see the one here, which is Andy Pandy. So if we have a look at it. And you'll see that it's valid from today's date right through to July 2014. So in effect, we could carry on authenticating. Um, it seems to default to six months, which is what, 180 odd days. Um, I haven't looked in if you can change that, but in any event, it's not great. So just to show you um, that it is to do with that save credentials, if I log out of this link client, again, just to confirm, we can still log straight back in. But if I was to log out, and you see there the delete my sign in info. If I click that and we delete the fact that we've saved our login and everything like that, and now sign in, you'll see that I'll ask for my password and I won't be able to sign in, even if I do say I, I want to save it. There we go. That's because our account is disabled. So, what I'm going to do is pop across and re enable that account. There we go back on our client, I'll log in, saving my password, if I actually got the password correct that is, and the username, there we go, so we're back in. Um, you can look if you want, there are ways of, I think, of actually looking at the certificate, so uh, if you fire up the link um, management shell, for example, I think there's a get CS client certificate. Um, then you have to enter the identity for the user. So mine would be sip andy pandy at contoso.com. There you go. So you can see there's a certificate generated for my authentication. See, if I was to now disable that user, there we go and pop to my client you can see that I can still sign out 
and sign in again using that certificate authentication. Another option um, is to actually revoke that certificate, um, which is revoke dash CS client certificate. Again, it allows for identity. So that means all those certificates have now been um, revoked. Oops. So we have a look, see that there's no certificates now. So what should happen is when we sign out for this user, we shouldn't be able to sign back in. There we go, it's asking for a password. We'll say yes, but uh, there you go. You can see we can file, we, we fail because that user account's disabled. So in reality, the only real way um, of stopping a link user logging in when you disable them in Active Directory users and computers is to add a process to your your administration where you actually go in and disable um, disable the user within uh, your link control panel. Okay, um, it's quite an important thing really because otherwise you can end up with accounts that you've disabled and you can still log in and use all the, the functions of the system. Um, there are ways of making it easier. I mean, one of the options that I always do is I extend the Active Directory users and computers tools and add functions into that. So you can add a function, for example, to actually enable a link user or disable it. So you can do it all for one tool. Um, I've linked to that on the ways of doing that on the main blog article. So have a look on there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you find that useful.